Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day, I've selected a different composer to feature. Each of them has had a role to play at both Vocal Essence and Plymouth Church. Today, it being Memorial Day, I thought it has to be an American, so why not Leonard Bernstein? And so here we are, Memorial Day, Leonard Bernstein, born in 1918, passed away in 1990. Born and educated in the USA, and of course for many years, conductor of the New York Philharmonic. In 1954, he began his series that were groundbreaking of TV lectures from the Philharmonic. And he was also one of the people responsible for the revival of the music of Gustav Mahler. He composed symphonies, choral music, operas, ballets, film music, theater, everything. Bernstein could do it all. I only met him once. That was in 1969 when I had a Rockefeller scholarship to study at the Metropolitan Opera. At that time, Gary Carr, the phenomenal string bass player, was doing the premiere of a Gunther Schuller string bass concerto with the New York Philharmonic. He asked me to come and help him and to take, he gave me a score and said, would I come to the dress rehearsal and just see if there's anything that I noticed? So I said, sure. So I arrived at the rehearsal, sat down, and I'm there with the score and all of a sudden this voice in the aisle yells out, who has a score? And I didn't even look, I just raised my hand, I do. And suddenly Leonard Bernstein sits down next to me. Oh, hi. And then a very quiet voice from behind said, do you mind if I also share the score? And I looked back and said, oh no, Mr. Copeland, that would be fine. So I had Bernstein and Copeland on either side of me but no photographer to ever take a picture of it. But I remember it very well. And they had very different ideas about Gunther Schuller's music. Anyway, uh, Vocal Essence has over the years performed music of Bernstein many, many times. 30 times in ex exactly, uh, 30 times exactly. We've done them short pieces, long pieces. We did his White House Cantata, uh, which was the US premiere in that version. We've taken tours with the ensemble singers and done music of his. And in 1987, we did his Kaddish Symphony. Dolores Siegel, a local wonderful person, was the narrator for that. I'd like to play a piece of his that he wrote, uh, one of his sacred pieces called Ashkivenu, which is words from the Psalms, cause us to lie down, O God, in peace and raise us up to life renewed. So this is a little bit of this wonderful Hashki Vienu.
A year and a half ago, we at Vocal Essence had the opportunity to do, I think, one of the brilliant pieces of Bernstein, his Candide. And in putting that piece together, and it's a long, wonderful story about how that all happened, we knew that if we were going to do this, the role of Pangloss had to be performed by one of the great singing actors of our community, and so it was Bradley Greenwald. So I asked Bradley, would you mind coming and singing one of the numbers from Candide? And he said, well, I could do the best of all possible worlds, and I can be Pangloss, but then you have to be all the other parts, the students that he sang to. Uh, folks, I will make my singing debut with this performance of the best of all possible worlds. Bradley, let's do it. <clears throat> And finally, to end this section, just a short happy birthday. When Eugene Ormandy turned 70, all kinds of composers were asked to write something on the happy birthday theme. So this is what Leonard Bernstein wrote to Eugene Ormandy. Have a wonderful day.